Now to New London, Connecticut and the Coast Guard. For the Bears, it was a matter of making the right play, but their penalties may have cost them the game. And the Anna Maria Amcats were able to take advantage of those mistakes and edge the Bears out 29 to 24. Anna Maria actually jumped out to a 14-3 lead in the first quarter, thanks in part to a 60-yard scoop and score on a blocked Coast Guard second field goal attempt. The first attempt was called back because of an offsides. The Bears came back in the second half and went ahead on a Tafari wall to Damazo Jamie's 67-yard pass play for a 24-17 lead. It was Wall's second big strike of the day. He ended with 272 yards passing with two TDs and an interception. But it was big plays by the Amcats and critical penalties by the Bears that led to the Coast Guard loss. Anna Maria scored late in the third on a 63-yard touchdown that cut the score to 24-23 Coast Guard. Then in the fourth, the Bears appeared to make a first down at midfield that should have allowed them to run out the clock. But a block in the back penalty forced Coast Guard to punt, giving the Amcats the ball at their own 25 with 1 minute and 36 seconds left in the game. On the first play for Anna Maria, a pass interference penalty on Coast Guard moved the ball to the 40. And just a few plays later, Amcats quarterback Alex Cohen found DeAndre Wallace for a 27-yard touchdown to take the lead with 21 seconds left to win 29-24. We made too many mistakes and just didn't make the plays, and they did coming down the stretch. So that, that, that's basically what it turned into. One of the questions I have as I look at, uh, uh, look at the game, did Anna Maria beat the Bears? Or did the Bears kind of beat themselves? I think it probably is a little bit of both. You can certainly look and say, hey, they made some plays. But you can also say, look and say, hey, you know, we also cost ourselves a little bit. with the Jared Coletti again led the Bears in rushing with 111 yards on 28 carries and two touchdowns, one running and one receiving. The Bears have their second of two homecoming games and the first conference game this coming weekend against Norwich. And Coach Grant says they are likely to be the most physical team the Bears have played yet. Still ahead on Behind the Lines, we'll talk with two of our insiders on how the season's going for Air Force and for Army, and what's ahead. First up, Brent Brigham, ringside from the Air Force Academy.